We have seen in a previous video that the energy of an atom is actually the energy of its electrons. Here, in this video, we will look at this closer and realize that the energy of an atom is quantized. That means that it can only take certain allowed values. You want to know more? Stay tuned. Hello, welcome to IB Physics Made Easy. We know now that an atom has energy. The value of this energy is determined by that of its electrons. For this video, we will consider here the atom of hydrogen. While scientists in the 20s were puzzled by the fact that atoms could only absorb or emit photons of specific amount of energy, a young scientist, Niels Bohr, made an astounding discovery. He proposed that electrons could only circulate on certain orbits around their nucleus. The consequence is that atoms can only take certain values of energy. More, he was able to quantify, to calculate the energy allowed for the hydrogen atom. This is his result. The energy of the hydrogen atom is equal to minus 13.6 divided by n square in electron volts, where n is a number, like an integral number, like 1, 2, or 3. If you want to get this amount in uh, uh, joules, just multiply by 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19 joules. So from that, you can calculate the levels of energy. He basically found out that atoms like hydrogen have energy levels. So for n equals 1, the atom is at its lowest level of energy, called ground state. That's when the electron is the closest from the nucleus, it's orbiting in the smallest orbit. If it meets with a photon that has the right amount of energy corresponding to a difference between two levels, the atom will absorb it. By doing so, the electron jumps to a higher level of energy. The atom is said, then, to be excited. From a previous video, we know that nature does not like high levels of energy. It tries to minimize energy of a system. Take this pen, for instance. I'm holding it up, about 1.5 meters from the ground. If I release it, it drops. While it was high, it had potential energy, gravitational potential energy. I released it, nature made sure that it lost this energy. It's the same for the atom. The atom, excited, will de-excite naturally and return to a lower state of energy by emitting a photon of energy corresponding exactly to the difference between two levels. Actually, it will try to reach its ground state. At the same time, the electron will jump down to a lower level. This explains why only certain photons are absorbed or emitted. And that gives rise to emission and absorption spectra that were observed by these puzzled scientists and that are characteristic of the atoms studied. Niels Bohr had solved the puzzle. Standard level students, I invite you to go straight to the next video where we will discuss these emission and absorption spectra. High-level students, I invite you to do the same, but before that, you need to check another video where I will show you how to derive this equation. It's part of your program. That's all, folks, for today. Uh, I hope you found this uh, video useful, and I'll see you soon in the next edition of IB Physics Made Easy. And if you enjoyed the video, and if it was useful, please subscribe.